Hey guys, it's Bro at UAC, and whenever you see a Modern Warfare 3 gameplay from me, you know it's gonna be a Moab gameplay, and today we're gonna be using the UMP 45 with the fall camo, and we're gonna be playing here on Arcadin, and we're gonna be just searching around for some furniture, we're gonna be looking in Ikea, looking for some furniture for my brand new house, but today it's not really about the gameplay, it's just a good backdrop for today's commentary, which is pretty much just Nuke Talk and Moab Top, and in the past we have seen Infinity Ward games, especially specifically Modern Warfare 2 and Modern Warfare 3, we've seen a 25 kill streak in Modern Warfare 2. It was the nuke, which was a 25 kill streak that you can get with your kill streaks, with your Harriers, Pavlo, Chopper Gunners, you know all that jazz. And then in Modern Warfare 3, it was kind of the same thing, but instead of having your kill streaks help you, you can only get it with your guns, knife, C4s, grenades, all that stuff. And you see a lot of people use specialists when going for the Moab, and here I'm using it. I'm using Setra Pro, Assassin's Pro, and Slide of Hand Pro, and when I go for Moabs, this is my typical setup, and it's just something that I love to do. I love going for Moabs in Modern Warfare 3. It was just a fun thing to do, and Infinity Ward games, they're notorious for having this 25 kill streak in their game, but now since Call of Duty is coming up, and since Infinity Ward is making it, we're all kind of predicting and kind of hoping that there will be a 25 kill streak, and in Black Ops 2, they did have something similar to it. It's, it's so just the name of it is the only similarity to it. It was a 30 gun kill streak, and all you got for it was a medal. You know, you had the Bloodthirsty, the Ruthless, Relentless, Brutal. I know I skipped one, and then you had the Nuclear, and then you had the Unstoppable, but you didn't get anything for going for the Nuclear except for the medal, which I just didn't really like. And I still haven't even gotten a Nuclear to this day, but as terms of a 25 kill streak, or as terms of a nuke, or something in Black Ops 2, it was a major let down there was nothing like it and just I didn't really the nuclear disc didn't really interest me and I still haven't even gotten it to this day hopefully I'll be able to get a nuclear by the end of Black Ops 2 but since Call of Duty Ghost is coming out we're all kind of predicting that there will be some sort of a 25 kill streak or if not a 30 kill streak maybe a 50 kill streak I don't know we we'll just have to see but as terms of a nuke or Moab I'm really hoping that Call of Duty Ghost will have something like that because he here in Modern Warfare 3, I got Moabs for days, I loved going for the Moabs, it was just a fun thing for Modern Warfare 3, and it was also a big staple here in Modern Warfare 3, a lot of people really did like the Moab, a lot of people just liked the challenge of going for the Moab, and in Black Ops 2, it was kind of the same thing, but once you got the nuclear, not everyone knew that you could get a nuclear. No one, uh, no one saw that you went on this 30 gun kill streak, which was kind of lame. Here in Modern Warfare 3, if you got a 25 kill streak, if you got a 25 gun kill streak, everyone knew. Everyone knew when the Moab went off and people either got mad or surprised. No one really got happy for you if you were, uh, unless you were on the same team. But here in, in Free For All, everyone pretty much gets mad if you get a Moab because it, it just seems unfair but I just love going for it in free-for-all and I would just really like to see a Moab or Nuke in Call of Duty Ghosts and it could be whatever it could be whatever it could be I don't even know what to name it I can't even make a prediction but instead if you even have to go to the extent of making a kill streak and look at that long shot with the UMP 45 but if you had to make the uh, go to the extent of making a 25 kill streak but making it so you didn't kill anyone I would be happy with a confetti bomb if I could get on a 25 kill streak and a confetti bomb could go off where confetti just flies all over the map and not even kill anybody, I would be happy with that. I just want everyone to know that I earned a 25 kill streak, not really have a medal that's red pop up on my screen and it's just kind of a reward for me. It, it just seems like, that just seems like a damper on a kind of reward. Sure, it's self-rewarding, but not everyone knows that, and that's just the thing, that's just the only criticism with the 25 or 30 kill streak in Black Ops 2 that I have. But just to pretty much summarize it, I just really want a nuke or Moab in Modern Warfare 3. It was just a lot of fun to go for, and if you remember back, if you were an OG subscriber to me back in the day in Modern Warfare 3, you would have known that I had a series called Saturday Night of Moabs, and I'll actually, I'll actually link it down below, I'll actually have a link to the playlist in the description, maybe on the screen somewhere if I remember it, but if you remember back, I had a series where I showed off all my Moabs that I got 
in Modern Warfare 3 every Saturday and I either talked about her, I just had a topic, or I gave some Moab tips, and that was just a really fun series. And if Call of Duty Ghosts does have something like that again, for sure I'll bring that series back. If it was a confetti bomb, I'd probably have, I don't know, Saturday Night of Confetti Bombs or something like that. I don't care, I just want something like that so I can bring that series back because it's just a lot of fun to do. I can give my uh, tips to how to get a Moab, or in this case if it was confetti bomb I could give tips on how to get a confetti bomb or I can just have some talks about the confetti bomb it was it would just be a lot of fun to have something like that in Modern Warfare 3 and there is the Moab the long-awaited Moab so uh, to summarize it to finalize it since this gameplay is wrapping up if there were to be another Moab or nuke in Call of Duty Ghost I would really enjoy that I want to bring that series back if it would be a confetti bomb that would be awesome that would be fine just have something like the Moab or Nuke back in Call of Duty Ghost. It's just a fun thing to do and it's just a fun thing for me. I know a lot of people stress over the Nuke or Moab, but I just have a lot of fun with it. Let me know if you want another Nuke or Moab or Confetti Bomb in Call of Duty Ghost. My name is Bro Uwak and I'm signing up for tonight.